Hi, I'm Tanisha Wright. I'm from New York City and I'm a senior here at SVC. What are we going to be reviewing today? Today we're going to be reviewing how I wrote a book for the first time. It's my first book. What inspired you to write your book? Um, I have, so I've liked Reapers for a while. It's probably thanks to the anime Soul Eater and that's kind of where it started. And then it kind of continued, but I never really touched that topic much because I would write about more about werewolves and all those other supernatural things. And then one night after midnight, I was just laying in bed about to fall asleep and the thought crossed my mind what if the Grim Reaper had a daughter? And like, how would she be if she was very sheltered? What were some of the challenges of making your book? Uh, a lot of challenges. Um, one challenge was in the beginning, I didn't know how to end it. Cause I'm, I can always start something, but I'm not good at finishing it. So being told that I have to finish an idea, it was kind of hard. So finding a good place to end it was hard. And then a different challenge that I found out later on was sleep. So I spent a lot of time working on it that eventually lost some sleep because I would want to spend as much time as possible throughout the day. Any other challenges? Or um, probably coming up with like a clear path for the characters and stuff like that because it's kind of difficult when you have a main character that you're following and you're putting them in a scenario that you yourself have not gone through. So you have to put yourself in the character's shoes and it becomes more than just, oh, this character. It becomes Libertina, it becomes Rudy, it becomes that character and you become, you kind of start to understand them as a person even though they're not real. So kind of having moments where you have to be able to separate yourself from the book and reality, that's, I'd say that's a challenge for me sometimes. I daydream a lot, like a lot. It's really bad. How long did it take for you to make your book? I have evidence. I have here three different books and folders of this writing process that I went through. And the very first one was this one. This idea came out June 1st, 2015, and it's currently 2018. So I don't know math, but that's a very long time. It's a lot. <laughs> Let me show you this map. This map. Look at this map. I worked so hard. <laughs> I tried really hard. It's a little map. It started off as arcs and stuff. I had it all planned out. As you can see, it stopped here. <laughs> it was supposed to continue. I don't even know where it was going at that point. I wanted the book to be born in nine months. Little baby. That's not possible. I was a child. I was an infant. I was naive. <laughs> Well, I have one good news. The title has never changed. It's always been Born From Death. Would you consider making another novel? Yes, I would. Any ideas on what it would be about? Um, would it be more of the same topic or would you go down a totally different route? I would consider going down the same topic, but maybe not from Libertina's perspective. I would do more of death and like what he was before he became the Grim Reaper and stuff like that. Um, or I'm gonna just completely leave that world alone because I'm actually extremely tired from reading my own story over and over again. And that world's kind of getting on my nerves. So I'm thinking about moving towards something else, a little very different from that supernatural. I don't know, we'll see where the wind takes me. Well, on that, that note, are you happy you finished? Yes and no. Cause Explain. Okay, well, I'm happy because nine-year-old me is happy because I wanted to be a writer ever since I was nine years old in math class. I figured that out. Um, and I just, so I'm, younger me is very happy and excited, but older me kind of realizes like the characters won't ever really leave me, but it feels like I'm giving my child away. Cause like, I, I like something I've always wanted was like to show people my imagination and what's behind my door and of my world and everything. So I've always wanted that, but now that it's actually happening, it's kind of like, maybe I should have kept that door closed. It's, it's, it's nice, but I don't know, kind of sort of wish I kept it to myself. Kind of sort of, I'm really happy that it's going out in the world. Would you do it over? And if you would, would you change anything like the way you manage time or struggles yeah. and everything? Yeah, I want to be a novelist, so I know I'm going to do it again, but I I think I need to get better at time management first before I try that again. I really need to sleep more. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I need to go to bed. <laughs>
Ben Wormfeld. I'm a senior and I'm originally from Boston, Mass. What are we going to be covering today? Well, my book is called Shadows of Mariner Valley. It's about a space captain who is caught in a war between Earth and Mars. It's actually kind of like the recent thing between Spain and Catalonia where you know, Mars wants to say, hey, we're independent, and Earth wants to say, mm, no, you're not. And so there's a war between the two planets going on. What inspired you to write your book? Um, I would say it's based on a short story that I kind of just pulled out of a couple of free writes. It was really an expansion of an, of an idea that just kind of came out of nowhere. I sat down at my grandfather's old typewriter, hammered out a couple of scenes that turned into, I think, three separate iterations of the same scene, and then got turned into a story for advanced creative writing, so my, the advanced fiction workshop with Heather Lanier, who's an amazing teacher. You can read all about that in my acknowledgement section. <laughs> um, from there, it kind of just became a different story. Uh, what were some of the challenges of uh, making your book? Ooh. Actually getting myself to sit down and write. It's so nervy usually that I'm walking all around, pacing all around, and as soon as I sat down and actually found the time of day that I'm really good at putting my ideas to paper, that was the biggest challenge, is getting there. Well, how long did it take in, uh, you know, the date you started? In the book itself, not counting any of the short stories beforehand, um, probably last September. It's been really fast. It's gotten, you know, from August, September through to goes to press this week and then published in May. It was kind of a, kind of brought that on myself because I, I messed up my schedule the past couple of semesters. Professional procrastinator. Thank you, thank you. Would you consider making another novel? Kinda. Would it be more of the same thing or something totally different? I have a couple of different stories that I have in my, you know, knocking around in my head. There's one that's based off of this, but from a completely different perspective. Not, not even the same story, just kind of a spin-off with one of the character groups in this story. And the rest have absolutely no relation to this at all. I don't, I don't know about the whole publication process and it was surprised to be here in terms of I'm surprised that it's gotten to the point where it's actually this is going to be happening. I don't know if I'd do another book. Well, are you happy you finished? Definitely. I'm Michaela Zamaitis. I am a senior this year in my final semester here at Southern Vermont College. And I'm originally from Watertown, Connecticut. So uh, what are we going to be talking about today? We will be talking about my book, which is called Don't Talk to Alistair Moore. It is a realistic fiction book, being that it is based on real life events, things I've experienced. But the people and the place are fictional. It's technically in Connecticut, but it's in no specific town whatsoever, which is why I say it's fictional. Well, what inspired you to write your book? I think what inspired me to write my book is a little bit dark. Um, in high school and even to this day, I suffer with an eating disorder. And my book is about a boy with an eating disorder who doesn't really have any friends. And I just wanted to write a book on the realistic problems that people face in everyday life that no one wants to address. And, I mean, Eating disorders aren't often talked about in books, and I just thought it was a great chance to bring up a topic that is like taboo, that no one wants to face head on. What were the challenges of making your book? Um, I would say the challenges of making my book had to do with the typical ones of forcing myself to write regularly, being able to talk about such a subject. Yeah, I, I find that, you know, also the issue that no one really thinks is an issue is actually completing a book. When you're a writer, you're often so used to never actually completing anything that actually forcing yourself through writing it and actually finishing it is the hardest part. Not even subject or anything else. How long did it take and uh, do you know the date you started? So, it's funny because this book has actually been going on for a long time now. I, the other day, was just curious if I had the original copy of the book. And the original copy is very different from what it is currently. But it is sometime in February 2013 that I started the book. 
um, when I brought was in college, they had this course to be able to publish a book. I wanted to take advantage of it, and so I did. I was trying to go through story ideas that I already had, and one that came to mind was this one, so I just kind of brought it back up. Would you consider making another novel? I definitely would. Maybe not for a little bit, because it is definitely a process that is so, I guess, anxiety-inducing and very fast-paced, and um, you got to be in the right like place in life for it to not be too overwhelming. Um, it's nice that I already have this experience, so like if I go to do it again, it won't be so, like, what am I supposed to do? Um, and it's kind of cool, but I would do it again, but I would hesitate a little. Sure. Would it be uh, more over the same topic as like uh, the disorders or just being isolated or would it be over something totally different? Um, I think it would be similar but at the same time I'm not so sure. I have another idea. Um, I wrote this idea before the one that I'm now publishing and it was more so about just about depression. But having covered such a similar topic already, I'm not sure if I would write about it again. I am someone who likes to write about realistic fiction. I like to about, write about real people. I'm not huge into writing supernatural. I don't think it's my thing. I don't think I'm the best at it. But it's something that maybe I would do instead because having written realistic fiction and talked about issues, I might want to test out other fields. Are you happy you finished? I am so happy I finished. This was a lifelong dream of mine. When I was nine years old, it was the first time I ever wrote a book. I actually finished that story. It's the only other story I've finished. Um, so I've been writing for a very long time and being able to look back and be like, I have finished a novel and I'm like a chunky one at that is just definitely very rewarding. Not exactly thin, so I'm very proud of myself and I'm happy I went through with it.